In the following video, we'll take a look at how you can customize in, uh, your gradebook as well as take a look at some of the assignments details associated with your gradebook. So if I uh, hover over one of my assignments, and I'll see that I get a drop-down arrow, one of the first choices uh, I have available to me is assignment details, which will provide just an average or mean score across all of my students uh, in that section. Um, we'll take a look at this in a later module, uh, but I can immediately jump to using the speed grader tool in order to uh, grade across all of my students. Uh, one of the really powerful tools available in uh, Canvas is the ability to message students. And so I have the ability to message students on about an individual uh, assignment who haven't submitted yet. And uh, it will populate it with all the students who haven't submitted. And I can just type a brief, brief message and let them know, uh, please submit. Uh, your response and it will send the message. Um, the other uh, tool that I have uh, available to me is I can set a default grade across all of the uh, scores and so you can see right now uh, the score is set to 5. I'm going to go ahead and give everyone 15 and I'm going to overwrite all their trade grades and set the default grade and it will show me how many scores uh, were updated. So now it's set at 15. I have the ability to mute an assignment, we'll talk about that um, and the importance of that in a later video. Finally, in terms of uh, some of the abilities to resize columns of uh, uh, my gradebook in Canvas, um, I can reorder where things uh, belong in Canvas. So if I want to uh, put the paper proposal first, I can simply drag and drag that over. Um, and then finally, I have a number of other tools available to me, like uh, the ability to import grades using a CSV file, the ability to export grades uh, so that I can have a hard copy, the ability to view the grading history, set the group weights from here rather than from the assignments tool, uh, the ability to take a look at grades uh, with my students and hide uh, the student's name so they have a, s a sense of what that looks like. Let me go ahead and show student grades again. I can arrange the columns by due date rather than um, how I've arranged it by assignment, or I can arrange it by assignment group. Uh, I can uh, show uh, any notes that I might be tracking, like, uh, uh, for example, uh, grade in the second draft. And those notes will be just available to me at a later time. Um, and I can hide those uh, notes as well. So the uh, gradebook. Uh, fairly straightforward and easy uh, tool to use, great way for uh, providing uh, student feedback without creating a lot of work for you. And the beauty of assignments and the gradebook being inextricably linked is that um, as you create the assignments, um, that for anything that you want graded, it will show up here in your gradebook.